My name is uh, Suman Indo. Um, I am a senior lecturer at the University of Cape Town in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Um, and basically in my position is what I do is I teach um, medical power chemistry to first year medical students. I also do research in my own lab uh, where I train and supervise uh, postgraduate students. Biochemistry as a field, basically what we're trying to do is we're looking at the chemistry of life. So here we're talking about um, biomolecules, um, you know, like for instance, if you think about metabolism, uh, you eat food um, and then from that food you, your body is able to produce energy. So you can look at it from the metabolism point of view, but also you can look at it from the disease point of view, which is what is medical biochemistry. To say that when these processes um, that are happening every second in our body, when they start to malfunction, what happens, right? Uh, or when you have an infection with um, uh, the virus, like for instance, now we have COVID-19, which is a big problem. So when you have this virus, what happens to uh, these, uh, you know, uh, molecules in our body that are supposed to help us to function um, and help us to, to deal with this infection? So this is really is uh, medical for chemistry. So my expertise uh, in uh, immunology, which is basically the study of the immune system. So we're looking at how the body responds to infections, um, whether it's um, tuberculosis, uh, TB, uh, HIV. Um, I did my, my PhD specifically looking at uh, parasites, worms. You know, um, that basically, you know, we get this infection and these worms uh, cause a huge problem in our livers. So we're trying to understand how the immune system uh, plays a role in trying to deal with this infection with these parasites. But I also did um, my master's and my undergraduate degree in biochemistry and uh, molecular biology. And the molecular biology is basically looking now at, uh, you know, at the molecular level, you know, in terms of gene expression. And genes basically, you get the genes coming from um, the DNA, so they're encoded in our chromosomes, which is basically where we store all our genetic information. So I grew up in a rural village, actually, in the area called Guangamalala. So this um, village is 30 kilometers outside of um, Peter Marisbeck um, in Guazulu Natal. Although you're spending so much time in nature, but I never really had an inclination of you know, following such I mean, career path. Just because in terms of what you see around you, is that you, the most that you see is you're seeing a policeman, a teacher, and a doctor, because you go to a doctor when you see. When I went to the second grade, uh, I was also struggling with maths, um, and I was lucky that there was a teacher who took interest uh, in me at that time. And after the grade, you know, second grade onwards, I was just, I was in love with maths and I did so well in just in school in general. It all comes from just having, you know, um, caring adults, teachers, who, you know, just see something in you and want to grow and nurture that potential that they see in you. Look beyond just your own box of, you know, your own misery, but then look outside and say, where I am, who can I talk to, you know, who can assist me to move forward? And this could be your teachers. This could be, you know, someone in the community who's influential, like your counselor. And I think every, you know, um, village has um, a ward counselor. And this person usually has information because, um, I mean, they have access to the municipal offices. So they can get to, like, pastor reforms. They can get to um, access to the internet and all those things. So go to these people and talk to them. You know, and, and say, this is where I want to go, how can you help me? Um, and this is really you taking advantage of this little resources that are available to you, so that you are able to push yourself forward. Um, and the last thing is just patience. Uh, I think now we're living in an age where we want to have this instant gratification, and it does not always work. Um, and with education, it's almost a long-term mindset, right? Is you basically investing today so that tomorrow you can reap the benefit. Um, and if you want to write a process, you're not going to have the desired outcomes. So work hard, dedicate yourself to your work, and go out there and seek help and assistance from those who, you know, who have walked the path. And I can assure you that you'll be successful.